Hey guys, I just want to wish everyone a happy new year. So I have had COVID here for the last week or so, and I've been uh, quite ill. And here in the last couple of days, it's it's taken a turn for the better. I can obviously now speak where there was a couple of days where I really couldn't speak. There was about four days where I just didn't get out of bed because of a fever and coughing. And I was very weak, so weak that I, I didn't like standing up for more than a couple of minutes. So I just stayed in bed. So weak you could just, you know, push me over and I'd fall over. It was, you know, it had me down and out for a little bit. But uh, today, obviously, you know, I, I feel well enough. I can do one of these quick uh, phone vlogs here, these boomer vlogs. And I, I imagine here in a couple of more days, I can get back to a more normal routine. Now, one of the things that got sidetracked by me getting sick was, you know, typically a, a lot of Linux YouTubers will do like uh, predictions for 2022. And I, I get requests for that at the end of every year. Of course, you guys missed it this week, which I had a video planned for it, but I never got around to it because obviously uh, getting sick. But, you know, today I thought I would just do a quick rundown of some of my predictions for 2022 off the top of my head. And these are going to be uh, related to Linux. So Linux predictions. Number one, I think Ubuntu's main edition will finally drop the GNOME desktop environment. I, th I think they're finally going to see the light on that. Uh, now, is that... A guarantee? No. I would say if I had to rank that from 1 to 10, how confident I am on that, I'd say I'm about a 4 on that, <laughs> right? I think Ubuntu should drop GNOME, but I'm not sure they're that committed to it. But number two, my second prediction, I, I'm much more confident in. I think Ubuntu, or Canonical in general, will drop snaps because uh, obviously it's not improving. It's, it's got a lot of problems. Snaps have just never gotten better. And Canonical has a history of creating their own technology and then abandoning it. They've done this many, many, many times over the years. And I think this is going to be the case. It's, it's not worth it for them to, to fool with the snap packages anymore. I think eventually they're just going, going to go with Flatpak. I think they're just going to adopt Red Hat standard, which I think will be good for app images because I think a lot of community distributions wouldn't want to uh, you know, adopt a global standard that's a corporate standard like, you know, Red Hat's flat packs. I, I think a lot of community distros will start giving app images a serious look. Number three, I think Microsoft Office for Linux will finally be released. Microsoft has been releasing software for Linux, you know, something that people never thought was possible before. But now, I mean, you've had Skype on Linux for years. Recently, Microsoft released Teams on Linux. I think eventually Microsoft sees that there's a need for Office on Linux. I think that is on its way, and I feel pretty confident in that. Like I'd give that like a 8 out of 10 on my confidence skill. My number four prediction is that Adobe will continue to pretend that Linux just doesn't exist, even though Microsoft will start releasing serious professional software for Linux, Adobe won't. <laughs> Adobe will continue to pretend like Linux doesn't exist and they will continue to ignore us. Number five, I think NVIDIA, they're not going to open source their drivers. That's just not going to happen. But I think NVIDIA We'll start doing some code dumps, you know, where they just dump a massive amount of code to like the Nuvo project and say, here's some code. You guys can look at it, see if you can figure it out. And if you can reverse engineer it and make it work in your open source drivers, go ahead. NVIDIA is not going to do that work for them, unfortunately. So I still think the Nuvo drivers, the open source NVIDIA drivers are still going to be bad. And quite frankly, the NVIDIA proprietary drivers are still going to be quite bad, too, in comparison to the Windows drivers. Number six, I think the Steam Deck is going to be a massive success. I think it's going to be a huge success for Valve, but I do think it's going to ship late. And I'm pretty confident on that prediction. I give that a 10 out of 10 that it's not going to ship on time. Uh, number seven, I think we finally see a Linux distribution that ships Emacs as its default window manager. I, I think it's way past due that we see a Emacs-centric Linux distribution. Prediction number eight for 2022 is Slackware still will not see a new release. It's been, what, five, six years since the last release of Slackware. We're not going to get one in 2022 either. Prediction number nine is I think at least five of the top 10 distributions on the DistroWatch top 100 list will be based on Arch, by the way. I, I see that as almost a certainty because Arch is clearly on an ascension, right? Arch and Arch-based distributions 
They're clearly where all the action is these days as far as desktop Linux. And number 10 for my predictions for 2022 is Microsoft is going to buy SUSE Linux. And that is not out there crazy, right? Because SUSE actually gets bought and sold like every couple of years, right? They're constantly being bought and sold, you know, from other larger corporations. And SUSE, I think the last time they sold, they only sold for two and a half, three billion dollars, you know, a really tiny amount of money compared to a multi-trillion dollar company like Microsoft, so they could easily buy SUSE. Like, it's just pocket change for them. And I think Microsoft wants their own enterprise Linux distribution. I just think it makes sense to eventually just buy one. And SUSE, again, it gets bought and sold all the dang time, so why not? So that's my predictions for 2022. I do, again, want to wish you guys a happy new year. I hope each and every one of you just have a fantastic 2022. And I do want to thank all of you guys that sent good thoughts and prayers this week as I was uh, trying to fight COVID. Anyway, guys, peace.